evening. It's my way of telling you this is going to be a night shave. And you know what that means. Anything can happen in a night shave. Welcome to the Groomsman channel. I'm Adam. One of the Groomsmen. Obviously. Alright. So this is I for a minute here. So today, what are we going to be doing? Oh, it's been a week. So... I look like hell. Um, went on state for graduation stuff. My wife threw it back out the morning we were supposed to, or the morning of before. It's still out, it's been fun. Uh, my oldest had some severe behavior problems when he was at his grandparents' house while we were doing the graduation stuff. And then my youngest appears to possibly have COVID. So that's exciting, we'll talk more about that later. Um, Today, we'll be using this, which is the Shea Moisture Smoothing Shave Butter. Shea Butter in Maracuya, maybe, oil. Ultimate Glide for Fall Shave. Uh, it's five ounces, 142 grams, prevent razor bumps, dermatologist tested, yada yada. So basically, Shea Moisture, you may recognize them, Shea Moisture Men, um, shampoo conditioner kind of stuff and specifically I think in a lot of cases it's designed for those with more natural hairstyle if you will uh curly wavy severely curly severely wavy severely extremely let's put it that way so our shave system was designed from the ground up to work with curly facial hair which I actually have uh hard to tell right now because it's only like at 18 hours growth but this smoothing shea butter provides a luxurious lather for ultimate glide and cushioning while shaving. To use, dampen your face and neck area using hot water. I did that. Scoop a small amount out and work it into a foamy lather using a brush or your fingers to apply evenly. Shave with the grain and short glides, rinse and gently pat dry for best results. Prime the surface with our pre-shave softening oil before using. Okay. Well, and that's what it looks like. And it smells like shampoo. It just smells like shampoo. That's what it smells like. It smells like unisex shampoo, and I'm fine with that. It's whatever. So yeah, this is not meant to, you know, wow you in terms of scent. They're gonna, you know, ingredient-wise, the parfum comes in at the end. So, you know, like a shampoo conditioner. So I'm gonna treat this based on the description like I would Paraso Red. And in that regard, um, in, in the interest of of curly, wavy facial hair, uh, coarse, uh, sensitive skin, all that good stuff, I'm using my old trusty Mercure uh, Vintage razor. So I used this the other day with a different cream and I enjoyed it. So I'm gonna use that with the second use of the blade and I'm gonna get it set up and I'll be back when I'm ready. And I think I might splice in video of this getting lathered just cause I think that might be interesting. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm gonna actually use the Simpson brush tonight. So I did a test lather the other day, last night with this, just palm lathering. And I tried putting a little bit in my bowl and I didn't love it the way it was working. So I'm just gonna, it's so big, it's the perfect size. I'm just gonna load from the tub. So get some nice thicky, thick, thicky, thicky goodness here. And it really wants to glom onto the brush. Like it's going in there very easily. We'll just see what we can do with this. Get this going a little bit. Yeah, lots of cream in there. So let's get some water in there to help that. And obviously we don't want to Oversaturate the brush and the cream with water because then it's game over. Let's do if we need more water. Yep, just shampoo scent. Flirting with disaster here. We'll have 
to see if we decide to keep this in or not. I think we're at least at a good place to start with. I said I did a palm lather the other day. Let's see how this goes. I'm definitely gonna use the pre-shave Parasso though. All right, we'll be with you in a minute. All right, so we're using a second use Wilkinson Sword German. Just checking the blade reveal. That's the only gripe that I have with this razor, I think, is that, I mean, you should always check, obviously, but unlike with a lot of modern or other, even other vintage, like the, to the twist to open ones, um, you gotta check, trust me. All right, so uh, I'm gonna just go as is for the first pass with the green. I might do a leak Instagram pass. I'm going to switch in the Parasol pre-shave and see how it does. So let's just get going. Definitely see why they said that piece about using their pre-shave oil. But I don't have their pre-shave oil. <gasps> Bastard. Okay. Keeps it interesting. It looks like I have shaving cream on my face. It doesn't exactly feel, I mean, I feel it on my face, but it doesn't feel like shaving cream. It feels like it's doing something to my face though. It's very refreshing. Oh my god, it just smells like shampoo. So I was at the, I was at Rite Aid Pharmacy because I had to get a new thing of children's Tylenol because it seems like you never use something like children's Tylenol until you need it. So then of course ours was expired. So I had to go there. I was walking around and this right aid, the men's grooming section is like facing out into the main aisle. I actually found this in an end cap when I was going through the aisle where the um, baby, infant, you know, two to 11 Tylenol was. And just got a notification from my wife that my son's asleep, so I'll make this as quick as we can. Uh, I got it. Um, yeah, that worked, man. Um, color me impressed with that. Nice and slick. I just have doubts about its longevity without using the pre-shave. I was a little concerned about how thick it was going to be on the razor when I was doing the hand lathering the other night because it took forever to wash it out of the brush. Now I did start by following the directions and doing a little dab into my bowl. I'm going in with a mostly dry synthetic brush and 
I wasn't impressed. So that's when I decided just to, to tell the other. Most of my creams that I have are in two forms, so that takes away the, the tub lathering option, obviously. And it really sticks to the brush. It wants to, it wants to be used. Bit on the thicker side. I don't, it's not, there's, I don't think there's menthol on it. So I can get this massive ingredient list. Lots of acid. Myristic acid, steric acid, palmitic acid, glycerin from vegetable, potassium hydroxia, sodium, methyl, cochyl, taurate. This is interesting. I want Scott to look at this one too. I don't see menthol. I think it would have said it was menthol. It definitely has a cooling sensation though. It's not bad, really. Not much residual slickness, but you don't always get that with the cream anyway, so. All right, I'm gonna go do my thing, read out there. What do you think, should I use, I think I'll, I think I'll use the the pre-shave from Porasso, just to be on the safe side. So I'll be back in a minute. We'll get... Wouldn't be me if I had it ready. Porasso red pre-shave. Hands are wet. Come on. Everything's wet. There we go. That's a lot but it is what it is. Ain't putting it back. I made this in a stick. Did I make it in a stick? They might. Someone tell me. This jar is, I mean, jar is fine, but it's not practical for like travel. Actually, like, procure yourself a little sample. All right, let's head back at it and see. I'm just gonna paint it. I mean, like, this isn't gonna... probably crack my... weekly rotation, but... in a pinch, you know. Add another one... for when you find yourself... in need of a shaving... apparatus situation when you're on travel or whatever. Speaking of travel, I sent to a travel shave and then when the wife threw her back out, she's like, this isn't gonna work. So once again, I traveled and didn't shave. And I thought about doing a video of just what I brought for my travel shave and I was like, that's not interesting if I'm not traveling. But here we are, anyways, so why do I think my baby has COVID? Well, I don't personally think he has COVID. He had a fever that went away. Then he had a fever and threw up. It's fun. The first day we were back, first day of our actual vacation. And then he developed a viral rash. So we took him to the doctor today and they did a little car visit. Did a nasal pharyngeal COVID swab on my almost two year old. He took it like a champ. He didn't like it, but he didn't cry much afterwards. 
I think his older brother would have handled it way worse based on just how his nair swab went when he was four. Maybe he was five, doesn't matter. I do love this little razor. It's basically a skinnier, minier version of the uh, Hoffert's Land, made by the same company, obviously, Mark here. Beautiful razor. Uh, silver, so it's heavier. It's, it's heavier than it looks, and it does a great job. Um, I was actually just posting on someone's post earlier today. They got a uh, Parker Semi Slant, which, when you're new to the game, you think, oh, it's only mildly slanted. It's not some scary ass looking slant like this, which isn't even, this isn't even that scary. That razor is way more aggressive than a 37C, which is basically Hoffert's, or this guy, or I don't know how many other slants I've used, but okay, that's thick right there. There we go. I was reaching out. Um, but yeah, so if you are thinking about getting a slant, I recommend going all in and getting yourself a 37C from Mercure. I think that's still considered the standard when it comes to slant razors. I've not used it yet. The Maggard razors, slanted head though, uh, Scott just bought one of those and says it's really blade forward. But 37C is great. It's nice. It's like a 34C, only it's slanted. So it's kind of got that heavy duty quality about it. I actually got one by accident when I thought I was getting an actual vintage Mercure and I just got like a 1990s version of the 37C. We don't speak of that though. That was earlier this year. Still a good razor. I sold it though after I got this. I'd love to get an offer. It's a Hoffert's open comb. But my next razor purchase might be an, finally getting an Icon razor, the Icon Tech. T E K. Supposed to be super like like aggressive, not even just efficient, but aggressive. Puts the uh, R forty one in its place. Granted, I'm not using the twenty thirteen R R forty one. I thought about it, but they're going for like three hundred bucks on on eBay, and I'm not paying that. If the materials were better, I wouldn't even pay that. I wish I could just buy, you'll look to see this, I wish I could just buy the stainless steel R41 head. I don't like the handle on the regular and the Grand Grande is even bigger and thicker. So I know I won't like that. So I'll just end up paying an insane amount of money for a razor whose handle I have no interest in ever using. So, I don't know. All right, well, what do we think of the Shea Moisture Men Smoothing Shea Butter? It's not bad. It's got an interesting post-shave feel. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. I'm gonna use cold water first. I probably need another half pass, and I know what I need to do, but I don't trust myself to do it tonight. Plus, I can finally go hang out with my wife without my turtle, turtle being like, Daddy? Yeah. This yours? Yes, Jordan, that's mine, as he grabs my watch. Chiz. Again and again and again and again. 
that are on my ballet tray and my end table. Yes, Jordan, if you ever see this video, those were all mine at all times. Um, but anyways, rest of the week, so, um, we're on vacation, technically staycation anyways, but I would like to actually be able to leave my house. Uh, the rare occasions that I have gone places, uh, since he's been sick, just because they're, oh yeah, COVID, um, he, someone in his room at daycare, one of the workers since COVID, he hasn't been around them since Friday and they haven't been symptomatic since month, Sunday or Monday. So it probably isn't, but it'd be safe. But I haven't gone anywhere without an N95 mask on just in case, you know, and I only went out to get essentials. You know, I wasn't doing fun stuff. I was getting baby Tylenol and shaving cream, the essentials, stuff like that, you know? Um, I think it's good. It's, it's decent. Like, again, it's not cracking, it's not replacing Barbus, which I love Barbus. I really do love the Barbus or Tobbs or even Paraso Red for that matter. Um, and it shouldn't, it really shouldn't, but in a pinch, or if you're looking for something cool to try, I mean, this is nice and cool. This is a nice post shave feel. Ugh. Trying to save up some actual stubble for this weekend. Yeah, I'm not trusting, we're over, we're overachieving over here anyways. So that was not an amazing shave. It has nothing to do with the product used. Probably should have been more focused on the actual shade than talking, but I had so much to tell you guys tonight. So, back to it. Um, decent product. Uh, I'm hoping to get the news tomorrow from his PCR test that he doesn't have COVID so that I can at least go grocery shopping properly because there's nothing like using shipped and I don't have anything against people who do this. And then just like, they were out of this. Like, okay, um, sometimes they send you good substitutes, sometimes they don't, or they buy produce that you'd be like, I would not have bought that. I would not have brought the, bought these potatoes with eyes on them. I would have just not bought that. But anyways, it is what it is, I guess, right? So I'm gonna go try to rinse this thick goodness out of the brush. She's been soaking it. I just wanna see what I really do. So wish me luck with that. So I guess without further ado, we're going to call that a shave. Thank you for uh, choosing the Groomsman channel for your viewing pleasure this evening, or uh, morning, or uh, afternoon, whenever you watch this. And we shall see you again next time. Goodbye.